I'm Jamie Costello with your WMAR 2 News Update. Uh, states across the nation are getting and using their first doses of Pfizer's coronavirus vaccine. Let, let's show you a video here from the University of Maryland Medical System. They sent us this video of their, their first shipment safely secured, as you can see, in, fi in the freezer here at their medical center in downtown Baltimore. Uh, they say so far five frontline workers have gotten the vaccine and the rollout comes as the United States passes a heartbreaking milestone. Johns Hopkins says more than 300,000 Americans have now died from the virus and as deaths climb. However, this vaccine is bringing hopes to so many, especially those on the front lines. And here's a story of uh, some of the other vaccines that are out there that are still in the works here, waiting for approval from the FDA. We have a woman who has Maryland ties here. She just got her second shot. Uh, we want to introduce you to Maria Roach. She is a 12 year breast cancer survivor whose twin sister also battled cancer and their struggle through chemo radiation research is what inspired Maria to take part in the COVID-19 vaccine. I lost my twin sister, my very best friend to breast cancer three years ago, and she fought a long, hard battle, but it was thanks to research that we had her so much longer than the doctors had even predicted. Uh, and I knew that if black men and women and children were going to survive this pandemic, we needed really solid research. And Maria lives in Orlando with her husband and two teenage boys. She got the vaccine in September and her booster shot just last month. She suffered minor flu like side effects. The filmmaker decided to chronicle her journey in an upcoming documentary. And we are looking at a chilly start to the day tomorrow. The good news, no rain in the forecast for your Tuesday and I'm expecting more sunshine, but not going to warm up a whole lot. It's going to be a struggle to get into the 40s and I think we spend most of the afternoon in the 30s. Daytime highs climb to about 41 degrees here in the city of Baltimore, 40 in Elkton, 39 out in Bel Air. And then of course all of our focus on Wednesday where we have a winter storm wash that's in effect because we're looking at several locations picking up five or more inches of snow. All of that energy moves in Wednesday and exits on Thursday. Day. We're drying out for your Friday with temperatures returning to the 40s by Saturday. All right, Patrick, click with us online at WMAR2news.com all day for updates on top stories and breaking news. And also for news and weather while you're out there shoveling, you can download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. You can watch live radar and get breaking news sent right to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.